Hi, Hi. guys. Allison, Shelly, my roommate, my best friend, she's helping us. We're going to do our sorting lesson. And we have some glue sticks. All right. And we have some pens. Okay. We have a big jumble of them here, and we need to get them sorted out so we can put them away where they need to be. And at school, we have a lot of pens and we have a lot of glue sticks. And sometimes our drawers get all messy and we have um, things and places that we can't find them. So we're going to practice organizing. So sorting is one of those things you can do to help organize. And you can help your families at home by helping them to organize their drawers. Okay. So we're going to, Shelly's going to pretend to be our student. Okay. We have a container and a different container. Shelly's going to put the glue sticks in the clear container and the pens in the red container. Okay. But first I'm going to help her do it. Shelly, can you find a glue stick? That's a very good try. That's a pen. So we're going to put the pens in that container. Let, let me help you find a glue stick. This is a glue stick. Can you hold it? Okay, where do you think we're going to put the glue stick? Very nicely done. Yay. Woohoo, you did it. Okay, so we're going to sort these and put them in their different places. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you can pick one up at a time and put it where you think it goes. Very nice. You're learning. Oh, let's put it in that one. Thank you. That's kind of hard to remember when you haven't picked one of those up for a minute. All right, yep, in the pens container. I like that one. That's, That's a pretty, pretty color. Good. What is that? Can you tell me? A glue stick. Yes. That's blue. That is blue. Okay, stop. We put the blue. Is this a glue stick? No. What is it? It's a pen. It's a pen. Okay. So do you think it belongs with the glue sticks or with the pens? The pens. Yeah. You want to put it in there? That was good remembering. That's yellow. Yellow. Very nice. So now we're going to demonstrate how you would help a student that maybe can't hold things by themselves because they don't like their hands to be touched. So I'm going to help Shelly and I want to be gentle. Remember, we're very gentle with our physical prompting. So I'm going to say, Shelly, I'm going to help you to sort some of these objects that we have here. And it might be hard for them to see them. So I'm going to be their eyes also. So Shelly, we're going to pick up a glue stick. No, don't hold it. Just let it drop. Oh. Just pull your hand totally apart like you don't like it touching you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put it in her hand and turn it like this and hold it gently and then put it over there. So if I need to, because the student might not like to reach that far, I'm going to move my things closer. So now I'm going to help him to find a pen and help her to hold it. And she might be fighting me by trying to let go of it. So I'm going to be very gentle and try and help her. Okay. So remember, if you have somebody who's tactfully defensive, you go to, they, you try to put something in their hand and they're going to immediately go like that. Okay. So you want to help them to hold on to what you're handing them. 
see, she doesn't want to hold that. So I'm going to help her hold on to it. And we're going to put it over here. Very good, Shelly. You did it. Okay, that's our lesson. Thanks, you guys. We Bye. miss you. Ha good luck trying to do this at home with your family. I bet you can, because we know you can do it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.